Hey, welcome. Just like functions and the modules, fixtures also have a scope and there is a lifetime of the fixtures. I am Kumar and welcome to my channel on tech and tutorials. Here I have put down all the scope of the fixtures that are available with PyTest actually. So just to note that fixtures are actually created when they are actually first requested by any test and are destroyed based on their scope. So there is a subtle difference between the creation and the destruction of the fixtures. Uh, by creation we mean the when the fixture setup part is run. If you remember that there is something called yield, the code before the yield is taken as part of the setup and the code after the yield are taken as part of the teardown and is run when the fixture is getting destroyed or it is its job is done. It is created when it is requested by the test. So it doesn't matter whatever you define in the scope, either it's a module, package or session, doesn't matter, but it is created whenever there is it is requested by a test. But it is it is destroyed based on the scope that you define for the fixture. So by default, all the fixtures are created in the function level. So whenever the function is done, the fixture is actually destroyed by default if you do not specify the scope of the fixture. So let us actually look into a couple of examples here which we have already written down earlier so here we have seen that we can how to define the scope of the fixture here i have defined scope equals to module that means this fixture setup 01 is going to be completed when the test file which is referring this fixture is all the tests in that test file are executed so this one is being referred by fixture zero test underscore fixture zero three test method here sorry test module here and uh, you see here setup zero one so coming back to our fixture this is this scope is module and this is the setup zero one and this test module is using it the first one uses it the second one doesn't use it we will run and see that when all the tests in this test module is completed we should see this print statement fixture setup zero one closing so since it's a module, so when the all when all the tests in this test fixture 03 module is run, this fixture is going to be destroyed and we'll see this print state. Okay. And uh, coming back to our notes here, so function is the default scope is destroyed, and there is a something called class level fixture, which uh, you can define our tests are not defined as class. We have seen one example earlier, but anyway, this test module is not defined in the class object oriented way of writing the program okay so that provision is also there just to take note of that and the module level we are going to see that and there is also something called package level so package level is for example this folder pi underscore fixture so if you define the scope as package when all the test functions in this whole package pi underscore fixture has been run you will see that that fixture is getting destroyed and if you define it as session level so Whenever all the tests in that particular session is completed, then you will see that fixture is getting destroyed. We are going to see the module level and a session level for this demo. And I have added a print statement after the setup02 fixture has been run. Since this is scope is session, the whole test, all the tests, whatever I run it in during that particular invocation is done, then only you will see this print setup 02 closing statement in the output so let us go to our command prompt and let us try to run this test let us run 0 1 2 3 4 so we will see that third one is having this setup 02 fixture so we are also going to run set test underscore fixture 04 and we'll see that this one comes in the last and this one comes when this 03 test module is run so by test minus v minus k we will use and we will define fixtures and not we are use the minus k option let us fixtures 05 we are not going to run this uh, 05 test module and i think that's fine so and we are going to provide the minus s for seeing the output so let us run this test and see what is the outcome of this thing okay scroll up a little bit and here our test execution starts 
if you test fixture 0 1 and in fixture setup list in fixture so 0 1 is running here and if you see here test underscore extend list so this fixture setup 0 1 we have defined it in test fixture 0 2 pi file test fixture 0 2 pi file test fixture 0 2 is this one and we have a setup here so after yield in setup 0 1 fixture so since I did not define any scope here so this tear down part of this fixture is run after this method is completed after the test method which call this fixture uh, is complete that's what we are seeing here after yield in setup 01 fixture and then again the same fixture was used here in this test underscore land that's why we are seeing it again here okay so moving on set fixture setup 01 closing so this is from this test fixture 03.py so let us go into that and setup 01 okay fixture 0 and this is calling the conf test setup 01 so if i go to setup 01 and the scope is module here and print fixture setup 01 closing print setup 01 closing so we need to see when it ran so the test function which called was test fixture 03 test underscore del item so if we come here we del item was calling this setup 01 but if you see here the teardown part of this fixture was run after the last test in this module test underscore fixture 03 test underscore remove item remove item was the second and the last test method test function in this module so after this function test function has been run then only you are seeing this fixture so that's that's the purpose of that scope which we defined for that fixture and then these are some test from the text fixture 04 and if we come down and you see that fixture setup 02 closing here so if you notice that this tear down part of setup 02 did not run here instead it ran in the end of all our test so even after the fixture 04 which is not referring to this setup 02 fixture after this run then only the setup 02 fixture down part run here in the end of this session so if you come back here which we have defined scope is session and fixture setup 02 closing so end of the session only this part got executed okay and and then the rest is this test summary and all so coming back that's about the fixture scope so we have seen that we can define the scope of the fixture while defining the fixture with, with the decorator for the fixtures method and there are different type of scope for the fixture function class module package and sessions that's all in this video thank you so much hope it was helpful to you thanks a lot for watching